anybody who was listening to the show late on uh, Friday, we started talking about Baba Booey going out and doing an appearance in California with Sal and Beetlejuice. I thought about him all weekend. And how Beetlejuice makes in his diaper, and Beetlejuice heard it and was pissed. Really? Oh, my God. He was in the car with Bob Levy driving to the airport, and Beetle was freaking out. When the when we were talking, he was in the car listening? Yeah. This is this came in while, like, right after the show ended. All right. F*** you. F*** you, too. You ain't got to f*** you. Hello? Hello? to f*** himself. I don't hear f*** for nobody. They just want to make it better. What's wrong? I don't wrong? give a f*** what that makes. I don't give a f***. But what's wrong? What made you mad? I don't give a f***. Is it Gary? I'm tired of everybody picking up. I'm tired of this. Gary, Gary, all of them. Uh oh. What did Gary? That piece of What did Gary do to you? My sister's monkey ass. His monkey ass? Uh, I got something for the ass. Watch. I got something for the ass. Do you want to sit next to Gary or Sally? I ain't sitting next to no body. So you don't sit next to Gary? Get away from me. You want something to say about me? You in out? You gotta do the appearance with Sal and Gary. Jim, I don't give a f about no I don't give a f. You're gonna beat somebody's ass? That's right. I ain't I ain't got time for them. Yeah. You're gonna be cool with them? Hell no, I'm cool with no f body. Everybody else gonna talk about me too? So there was a whole discussion on Friday about how Beetlejuice wears a diaper and that you have to change his diaper. and Sometimes he, you don't know when he's gone, and you could be in a car or a plane. Well, all I'm hearing is that after that discussion over the weekend, Beetle didn't wear any diaper, and really? he went to the bathroom. See, I knew it. I knew he could go. If he's drinking and smoking, he can do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so evidently, whatever we said embarrassed him into not using a diaper. Wow. Right? It was very strange. The whole weekend was just so bizarre. I ended up getting, I mean, it really I think was. we should play, should we, like, should we, we take a break? Yes. And then play what happened on Friday? Yes. Because most people probably missed it. It didn't happen until 10.30. And I will tell you that people were just going nuts. They thought it was the funniest 20 minutes they ever heard. Yeah, and then after that... We'll talk about what happened. We'll talk about what happened over the weekend. Yeah, because I'm dying to know how that mm-hmm. all went. I've been thinking about it. Thinking about it a lot. I said to Gary, have a... And then I said, no, he's not going to have a good weekend. Well, Beetle yelled at him the whole weekend, right? I said it was like, you know when you watch a movie and the director's cut is on? Like, even when I'm in another conversation, it just goes. It goes. And and it's a less important conversation than what's going on. Right. And it, and it just, I, like, I was in the air. I'll just give you this little tidbit. I'm in the airport, right, right when I get to JFK, and he starts screaming at me. So I just start walking away, and then me and Sal and Bob are talking, and he's just yelling at me. And, you know, people were looking around, and we just, you just have to have, to have a conversation and ignore him. Because you can't really calm him down. He just sort of winds down. Hmm. Bob will go, beat, calm down, calm down. That only pisses him off more. See, I thought he was so out of it that, like, he wouldn't even know. So did I. Because the first thing I did when he goes, I know you. I know what you did. You talking about me. And I said, no, no, no. It was him. And I point to Sal. And he goes, no, it wasn't. It was you. I know it's you. He, he knows. And I was like, well, when, when did he get so smart? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's been playing dumb all this time. Every once in a while, I'd look at the clock this weekend, and I'd say, I wonder what Gary's doing right now. <laughs> but, yeah. but I will tell you, the flip side of that is we're walking down Hollywood Walk of Fame, and uh, I go, where are we, Beetle? And he goes, East Atlanta. Right. He didn't know. East didn't, Atlanta. Yeah. And, and <laughs> Sal and I spent an hour trying to figure out where that came from. Like, why not, you know, you know why not Alaska? Right. Like, where did he get East Atlanta from? Because he must have spent time in East Atlanta as a kid or something. Yeah, I, I can't. Who fig- knows? I can't figure out how much brain power Beetlejuice really has. But it seems to turn. It seems to turn on and off. Yeah. Like he's got a capacity to, you know, do things. All right. Well, if Sean is listening, make sure Beetlejuice isn't by the radio when we replay this, because you know. Because you don't want to get him started up again. Yeah, it's enough. <laughs> he's in charge. All right. Well, let's take a break. I'll replay the conversation from Friday. And then we'll find out what happened over the week. Yeah, I got to hear about this. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of things going on today, but first, these words. When you thought it couldn't get any stranger. Underdog woman. Another thing, uh, I I only bring it up because a lot of fans have written in and and mentioned uh, that they saw you on the uh, Stern show. I didn't know. I had never heard of or seen his show before they asked me to be on it. I did not know that he was such a vulgar uh, television host. You might consider him the King Midas of smut. So after having been on it, I was so shocked 
and so maltreated. And no more Howard Stern, right? That's that's. Thank goodness. En enough of him, uh, and because uh, he, you said they were like drug pushers, making you do shows, right? That's right. Oh. They they forced me to do shows against my will, and when I saw that I was surrounded by impurities, I had no way of getting out of the room because I was always strategically placed that I was in the crowds and couldn't find my way out. Wow. This is the Howard Stern Show. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. Gary was out in California this weekend making that appearance with, with everyone, and, and uh, he said he ran into Ruben Stoddard. Oh, really? Enough said. Yeah, from American Idol. The winner. The big fat black dude. And he sa I said, how do he look? And he goes, he looked pretty good. He looked good. Like, I looked at him, and he, I didn't see a lot of... He didn't look thinner. Who's eating the cocoa? It's Benji. Oh, Benji, come on, dude, with the smorgasbord. Here I am. Because Here I am. If you don't hear me, if you, if you don't hear from me, you can smell You'll me. You smell me. You either got my cocoa or my turkey with mustard. <laughs> <laughs> dude, can you slow down for a couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah. He's got two of them, no less. Oh my God, it's like a chocolate what is, factory. What cocoa what? In case he runs out. I mean, I never saw a guy with more food going in and out. Two cocos. Two Mostly in. No, but the chocolate. I mean, the chocolate smells making me mental. That's got to be your fifth cocoa. <laughs> what is it? Cocoa he drinks? Hot cocoa? Yeah. Isn't that fattening? No, it's probably no fat. Here's what Benji does. Benji will get onto something that's no fat hmm. and then just buy 50 of them. Yeah, but but there's still calories. Right. He doesn't understand. That's and if you 10, drink 000. 500, you're you're just as bad off as you as if you drank a one Wait, with sugar. We do a no, no... I don't mind if you drink hot cocoa, but not in here. Okay. Because it's, it's wafting, and it's, like, very hard for me to concentrate. I'm hungry now. He does pick foods with extreme smells, yeah. Benji. Benji, can't you sit in the other room and write stuff for the show? I mean, do you really need to be in here? Yeah. No, you don't. It's just... It's just you're up to too many annoying things. It's so much smoother when you're not in the room. All right. I just think it's funny that you've had this conversation so many times, and I would think that... Well, he likes it. In some way, it gets him yeah. airtime. I, would think I he didn't would just... make a chocolate with, with, with chocolate. coffee to get your attention. <laughs> yeah, well, it certainly smells that way. We can't ignore it. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to try and continue, but I'm so hungry. I'm going to friggin' take that hot chocolate and throw it out a window. <laughs> so, yeah. So Ruben looked... I thought he looked good. I, he looked like he was sort of in shape. Wow. But well, not, he but not did thin. start some kind of a diet and health program. Looks like it's working. So you were on the plane, too, with Carson Daly? So Carson Daly. Yeah, what's his deal? He's just, you know, he got the sunglasses on and uh, and a hat on. He was out for some comedy thing. with Big some, giant sunglasses? Yeah, big sunglasses. Yeah. He was out for something with Jimmy Kimmel. I can't remember, you know, some comedy show or something. Wow. But then I saw, I went to go to the bathroom, and I saw this really hot chick sitting in the front row. Mm. And with the was, dog? With, with her dog, yeah. And it was a weird dog, too. It was like a little hairy dog. Like yeah. a chihuahua, but with a lot of hair. Yeah. And she goes, hey, how you doing? So I looked behind me, because I'm sure she's talking to another guy. She goes, you don't remember me, do you? And I go, no, I'm sorry. She goes, we did Hollywood Square Squares together. And then I remembered it's uh, the girl from Eight Simple Rules about dating my daughter, Kaylee Cuoco. Oh, yeah. Kaylee Ve Cuoco. Very is she the, the hot daughter? Yes, she is. I, I don't know her. Well, you never watched the show. No. She I looks remember, real hot. I huh? remember Gilbert and I were, like, salivating over her. At Hollywood Square, as we were, you know, I remember Gilbert goes, oh, my God, look at her. <laughs> Kaylee like, oh. Cuoco. That's like, you You got to be hot with a name like that. <laughs> I saw, I watched the show in Spade took over a couple times, and I think she's smoking. She is. Yeah. And, and, then, and then, so, I, when I got home, the first thing I did was I went to IMDb to see how old she was. Because in my mind, I thought, oh, she sort of likes me. And I found out she'll be 20 in November. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, she was, she was and she was with her mom. She was the teenage daughter. I right. do her. She looks older on the show. Yeah, she looks older. <laughs> if she if she looked young, I would enjoy her. I think she likes you. Yeah? She always seems to be, you know, seems to be positive about you. I'll give her uh, the hot beef. In fact, I think she even mentioned to me, I, I, I sort of heard her say something like, oh, maybe I'll call in, maybe I can call in this week or something. Well, I wonder what she would feel like. Oh, my. She's 19. Oh, stop. Oh, my mom. Oh, oh, oh. What a terrible thing to say. Well, it's true, though. <laughs> She's adorable, man. Yeah? Quaylee Cuoco? Kaylee Cuoco. Yeah. Kaylee I'm cuckoo for Cuoco. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, talk about Beetlejuice. Can I give you a 10-second setup, Howard, and then yeah. on Monday I'll tell you what happened? Right. The, the, the thing that I'm upset about is that I'm in a car with Beetlejuice for, like, over 300 miles this weekend. There's a whole bunch of places we have to go, and I found out that Beetlejuice wears a diaper... And he goes in his pants, and he doesn't tell you when he went. So I said, I don't know if I really want to spend two hours in a car with a guy that goes, went, in, his goes pants, in his pants. Yeah. Right. 
So I'm trying to get out of that. But I, Sal brings the diaper bag, right? Yes. Sal's in charge of Beetlejuice. It doesn't make anything extra for it. So, so like, Sal has to go, Beetle, did you go? And then Beetle denies it. And then Sal has to look in his pants to see if he went. And yeah. then change his diaper. Does Beetle let you open his pants? No, you could smell it. <laughs> yeah, but I, how do you change him? I put him in the hotel room. I turn on the tub, and I shut the door. And I what? leave it be. And, He'll uh, take care of the yeah. cleanup. Do you, yeah. you trust him to turn off the tub? He does turn off the tub. He cleans out the tub. But everything goes in the tub. Oh, and then what do you do with it? I don't do anything. I don't share the room. I put him in the tub, and I walk away. Was, all I know Housekeeping is housekeeping has a, a turd in the in the. I think it. I, I think it, it dissolves in. I, he must turn on the hot water or something. Makes I you don't feel know. good about checking oh. in the hotel. This is what I heard. Oh, I heard uh, the last time they were out, oh, man. Beetle just didn't have the diaper on. Somebody forgot to put the diaper on. An accident occurred, in an and they had to send like somebody's girlfriend had to go to Kmart to the kids section like, to buy all new clothes. Yeah, like, oh, there, was no, no. there was no extra clothes. Oh. They pay, how it, does he ever get embarrassed when he does that? No, he's clueless. And you know, here's the funny thing: <laughs> he was in, <laughs> he was in the car with Bob Levy last week, and he did it in the car. And Bob rolled see, down the window and started gagging. See, this is what I'm not looking. And for. Beetlejuice says to Bob, "What's your problem?" <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "What's your problem, pal?" <laughs> but see, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> and Bob's through. <laughs> Yeah, that's, no, that's no way to drive. <laughs> See, I swear to God, Howard, I'll get out in the middle. Of, we're going to Palm Springs. I will get out in the middle of the desert and call a car. I swear to God. I, I will say not. call the car before you You're have probably to do right. That. Sal, yeah. you can't change him in the car? Oh, no, no. no. That's disgusting. I mean, between Gary's breath and Beetle's ass, I don't know what. To, I'm the one who's suffering. Jerk. <laughs> so that's Did it. Beetlejuice always wear a diaper? Apparently. Evidently, we didn't know. No. How did you get in charge of his diapers? I have to, you know, we do shows together, so... But Sean doesn't go and do all no. that? No. And I feel... Ba- I mean, you know, you got to take care of him. Howard, it's Beetlejuice. You know? Do you know what Beetlejuice's day was like today? <laughs> Apparently, they leave him on a corner in New Brunswick with a bag where Bob Levy picks him up. <laughs> I said, anybody could go by and say, oh, Bob Levy, get in the car. Yeah. Bob Levy picks him up, and then and then him and Sal are with him on the plane. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's not... They leave him on a corner? Yeah. He's going with you guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> so they're all, all going to be on the plane together. Let me ask you something. You don't think you can train Beetlejuice... To go on the toilet? <laughs> I don't know, Does man. he pee in the diaper, too? Everything. The works. <laughs> wow. Dude, it's like it's like being next to a walking porta potty wow. <laughs> Like an outhouse. And it must reek. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's an adult. I said, even my child has, like, a three or two, my child has the ability to tell me that See, he I went. just think he's being lazy. Yeah. No, I he... think maybe he was never taught. Yeah, he could be taught. You guys could teach him how to go. Well, it's a little late, don't you think? I don't think so, Howard. I really I mean, don't. He could be shamed into it. He doesn't it. even know he's black. He thinks he's Italian. I mean, he, he doesn't. I'm telling you. He's I'm not. black? <laughs> you always see color, don't you, Sal? He thinks that Sal the stockbroker and the guy that babysits him, Sal, are two different people. Yeah. Totally. Oh, really? But yeah. he thinks the guy that's in here is Sal the stockbroker. That guy he knows. And then there's a guy, Sal, that babysits him, mm-hmm. but he doesn't know they're the same guy. Yeah. He thinks you're a different guy. When I see him at the show, he's like, hey, man, what are you... And over here, he's like, yeah, yeah, totally different person. Has no idea. I said, Beetle, don't you remember we were spying? He goes, no, that wasn't you. Wow. Yeah, he, he totally... Because he doesn't like the babysitter. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, man. But it's really strange, but... Does he try to get away from you? No, he's he's great with me. He feels really comfortable with me. Yeah, I don't. Uh, can you two <laughs> sit and watch a TV show and not have to speak? Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is... is, is I believe that. It's soothing. Breath is the... Absolute. W- I mean, like flies could come out. Does of he that ever now. brush that tooth? <laughs> well, that's all. Right. No, <laughs> no, nothing. nothing. But do you see what's going on here? That I mean, the whole thing. And why are you going? It's me, Sal. But why are you doing it? Why don't you get a, be a gentleman and get rent a car and go? Well, that's so. probably what I'm going to do. That's yeah, I wouldn't go. I, but I didn't realize any of this till the day before yesterday. Yeah. I thought I was on a different flight. I thought that like, you're on a flight with Beetlejuice and Sal. Yeah, oh yeah. My. And then I found out. But here's Howard. I found out this is the worst part of it. <laughs> We're doing this thing in Palm Spring on. What if Beat goes in his pants on the plane? Oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> that's that, what I'm man. saying. Howard, we're I going to. We're doing a thing in Palm Spring on Saturday night, right? It's a two and a half hour ride to the airport from Palm Spring to Los Angeles Airport. Two and a half hours. Me, Sal, Beetlejuice in a car for two and a half hours. Don't do it. I'm not going to rent the car and go. That's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to rent the car for the whole weekend. Yeah. What about me? You're in you charge have of him. To I didn't take care of it. I didn't make that deal. You did. I'm the Mother Teresa of black retarded midgets. I mean, I, I haven't figured I'm out why Sal babysits him. Because he doesn't get paid. I know. What, because it helps his gait. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, Sean helps me out with, you know, he combines us together on gigs and I help out Beatles. Is it worth it? It's not that bad. I mean, if he stinks, you throw. So far, I haven't been in a position where he did a duty in a limo or in a, on a plane. <laughs> but it could happen. Yeah. It could but probably. he does it in the car. Yeah. 
You got a long trip out to LA. That's what I'm worried about. How man. long is that plane trip? Usually six hours. Six hours. You're For- gonna have to change his diaper. Yeah. I, I don't think I could, dude. It's going to be bad. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we're going to have the stewardess do it. Are, yeah, can you see? They'll have to lay him in the middle of the aisle. Yeah, you should dress him up like a baby. <laughs> Stick him on a changing table. Are you first-class tickets? Are they first-class tickets? <laughs> no. I'd rather sit next to a guy with a turban and big shoes than Beetlejuice on yeah, the plane, man. A guy, I'd rather sit next to a guy a with, a, with a box cutter. <laughs> right. And I'm totally pretending I don't know you guys when you start the scene of whatever it is that... Oh, Mr. About, High and Mighty. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Big shot. I did not sign I, I, know, I love how Gary... Baba Big Shot. I did not Gary's, sign up for that. Gary's a big shot because he doesn't want to change a guy's diaper. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, yeah, Gary. Stop being full of yeah, yourself. Yeah. Howard, Howard. <laughs> when did you, you get so high and mighty? <laughs> from, from, yeah, Mr. Big Shot. <laughs> from L.A. tomorrow morning, right, to the... appear, We're doing a sit and sleep in Norco. That's 70 miles. From there, it's another 80 miles to the casino, and then like 200 miles back. So, and oh. poor Beetlejuice has got to go through all this. He doesn't know where he's going. It's he's not embarrassed. No, but he can't hold out that long. That's what I'm saying. Well, he's not going to. <laughs> he's going to go in his diaper. Right now, he's on a corner in New Brunswick, going in his diaper. <laughs> where do you get the diapers from, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. And if Sean they has pack a pack, them. well, if Sean has a packed enough, that's a whole other thing. You are Bob. <laughs> I was going to call you Bob Abel. <laughs> Bob over there. <laughs> So Bob tells me to call Sean. He goes, make sure he packs extra time. I'm serious. I have to get Sean up. Am I nuts to say? It was so embarrassing. I called up Sean. He goes, hey, Sal, what's going on? I go, do me a favor. <laughs> Gary wants you to pack extra diaper. Is that, is that wrong? Oh. It was so It was like a pause. He's like, what? I go, of course. He's, you know what the funny part is? Sean can say whatever he wants. He's not going. Oh. I know. <laughs> Am I, but am I wrong to feel uh, a little odd about the whole situation? Yeah, I mean, first of all, it's Sal's doing that Beetlejuice is coming. Right. You you just uh, are going out for an appearance. Exactly. You I, had no idea that the, I had no idea that the Beetlejuice thing was like... Yeah, now you're part I of that. I didn't know that I was part of the circus. <laughs> right. Did, do you know what diaper it is they use if Beetlejuice should run out? Was it Huggies? They're bigger than my kids, I can tell you that. <laughs> I think they're Depends for midgets. I don't know what they are. <laughs> they probably are. Oh. So when, when he pull us, I mean, Beetlejuice is a midget. He's not a baby. Uh, <laughs> Ipitch was in the car behind us. He wasn't even in the car. You said it was Ipitch? Yeah. And Ipitch was in the car behind, behind us in Boston. <laughs> Levy's throwing up out the window. Uh, yeah, I'm right in the car. Uh, but you know what? Uh, what am I thinking? I'm right in the car. Of course you are. <laughs> Who would be in the car with that? That's crazy. Who are you going to sit in the back the with strip, Beetlejuice? The strip, <laughs> that, at one point, this is the other thing. South Lake said, I'm being Mr. High and Mighty. I said, well, you got to put Beetlejuice in front. Forget about even the going in your pants. Hmm. For, forget if that doesn't even happen. You know, he gets on these jags where he doesn't even know who I am. And then he, like, he, like what is he doing here? Starts so yelling at me. Uh. You know, tell me to go F myself. And I'm like... And they're going to be in a car for hours getting yelled at by him. What am I going to do? This trip is going to cost you $600. Oh, man. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, yeah, that's a punchline to the whole thing. I just got my... uh I just got my tax return yesterday. I'm working for free this weekend. It's all going to my taxes. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, I know. So, like, I was all excited about doing this. Uh, and Now it's for nothing. It's for Beetlejuice now. Yeah. Man. I don't know, but that's really bad. I mean. I didn't realize he was diaper trained. I, I got to tell you, I didn't know any of this till about a week ago. How many diapers does he go through a day, do you know? I have no clue. I, I mean, know. you don't check him. I mean, because he could be wet. He might not. No, have I would never Why don't you guys him? just sit him on a toilet every two hours like a dog? He <laughs> must be full of, seriously. He you must know be, what I mean? Like you take your dog for a walk. Yeah. yeah. Or give him a litter box. Oh, God. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> he must be full of I'm rashes. Because if, if you go in your diaper and you and don't you change it. And you sit there. You sit yeah. there. You and get it's these, an adult. Get these gross rashes and stuff. Yeah, can you, I mean, do you have to put the desert anointment on? <laughs> I mean, not, again, I, I don't want to get too graphic, but how does he, like, you say you just stick him in a bathroom? Yeah. And he can clean himself yeah. and get new clothes But what on. do you think he does? Yeah, he I'm sure it's not a great job. What happens to the diaper? That's what I think happens. I think that he was in a situation where he took the bath and forgot to put the diaper on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he, yeah, but what does he do with the dirty diaper? Yeah. He, he I put, don't go in there, and, Howard. Oh. You hear, I turn on the what door. Is, what does the hotel say? Oh, I don't know. Goodness. And he, he goes and note. We go in the non-smoking rooms. As soon as he gets in, he lights up. As soon as he walks in, he's got... He can smoke. He can learn to go to the bathroom. He's got his pants, and he's 
Well, well I do that. <laughs> I, I go into a non-smoking room. You know what? There should be a law. Smoke. If you can't go into a toilet, you can't smoke. You can't smoke. <laughs> but how he can get a cigarette out of a pack and work a lighter or matches. Certainly yeah. he can figure out how to go to the bathroom. Of course he could. Uh, He's addicted to nicotine. He's lazy. Yeah, yeah. they <laughs> just don't make him go to the bathroom. You know what? Tell him to get a cigarette after he sits on a toilet and goes to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> no more diapers for him. <laughs> well, we'll say no cigarettes until you go on the toilet. There you go. <laughs> That's right. That's it, Sal. Start taking the initiative. And if yeah. you mess your diaper, you don't get yeah. a cigarette. You don't get to so eat. Funny. I tell you, I cut off your oxygen if you're making your pants again. <laughs> How's that? And how about asking for another 50 bucks for doing it? Daddy understands. Oh, man. It's bad. Man. That's all this weekend. Were you guys appearing? Oh, my God. Tonight, tonight we're in L.A. Tomorrow afternoon we're at the Sit and Sleep in Norco. And then we're at the, what is it, the Morongo Casino? The Morongo Casino tomorrow. Because when he does those uh, appearances, a lot of times he's in costume. He ain't wearing a diaper. No, he's in a diaper, dude. He's, you know? He gets on stage in his in his shorts and his T-shirt, and he does his thing. Howard, I had no idea any of this was going on. I just happened to hear Sal say, yeah, I got to make sure I'm packed enough diapers. And I said, why? I did not know this was going on. <laughs> well, you know, he Beetlejuice will get upset if you tell him he's wearing a diaper. Yeah, I know. I've confronted him. Yeah, right. I feel, and then he gets he starts yelling at you. I feel bad with that. He's embarrassed know. enough about it that he could probably why? learn to be toilet trained. Yeah, I mean, he knew what he did in mm. Levy's call when he said to Levy, what's your problem, <laughs> 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 my favorite is well, my, after after our trip to Vegas last year. Levy called my answering machine with Beetlejuice, and Beetlejuice got on and said, "Hey, Artie, you're a mess." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're in for some weekend. And, and then Jim Florentine's with us, and, and Jim's always pulling pranks, and he's farting next to Beetlejuice. We went to Wendy's. I had no idea that this was going to be like this. Yeah, what are you going to do with the appearance? You have no routine. No, I actually, I got a routine now. Oh, what do you yeah? mean? Bob, Bob, Bob Levy wrote me some jokes. What do you, what, give me a joke. I don't remember. I haven't looked them over yet. Ah, uh, some. How, how many minutes do you do? Like two minutes, two yeah. or three minutes. But the guy got something, and I, you know, I paid Bob, and you know, oh, you me. did. Yeah, yeah. I would be unfair to, take, to just take free jokes. Wow. What is the lineup this week? It's a uh, me, Sal. Jim Florentine. Jim Florentine, Bob Levy, and Beetlejuice. So and you're going to walk out on stage and do two minutes? <laughs> yeah. you got to tape minutes. that. Right. <laughs> it might be two minutes. What might... you paying for two minutes? <laughs> What's two jokes? <laughs> no, he wrote, me like, he wrote me like, I don't know, ten like, jokes. Like, hey, I'm Gary, and, uh, you There's know. There's a couple of jokes about Sal. It's got to be Sal. maybe five minutes, then. Yeah, well, you gotta, someone told me in Vegas, Beetlejuice went to the bathroom on the stage. That's what I heard. We, we were there, yeah. He did. No, we talked yeah, about that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about in Vegas. We talked about that, yeah. What are you going to do on that flight today if Beetlejuice goes in his diaper. I don't know, man. Like the first hour I in. might just go to the bathroom and sit in the bathroom. It, it's Are you going to sit next to him? Do you have to? That's the problem with me. Like, I'm the I'm the last guy on the totem pole, so it's like, you're, like, Levy calls me. You're sitting next to him. I'm not putting <laughs> up with this anymore. I had to dry this guy and puke out the... So I'm like, I, I say, okay. I mean, what am I going to do? You better hope it's just two people in a row, not three. The one because time imagine, he... like, some lady sitting oh, next to Beetlejuice cool person. and he yeah. goes in his diaper. You better say to him, hold it in. It's bad, Howard. Would, Tell him no cigarettes. Would you take him to the bathroom right before the flight and yeah. put him on a toilet and say go? No. I can, because I, you should. I direct him to the bathroom. I would. But he's got a diaper on. What is he going to do about that? <laughs> How does he deal for six maybe, hours? Maybe, I think he fell in the toilet once and he'll never go on it again. <laughs> he had a bad experience. How does he deal six hours on a plane without a cigarette? I don't know, but it's so funny. Non-smoking's everywhere. Beetle just lights up. <laughs> he puts on American bandstand. Like he can read. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in the room, he's like, in his diaper, smoking a cigarette, <laughs> watching American Bandstand. <laughs> like Baby Finster. Oh, oh, oh no. That's the one doing watching Bandstand. <laughs> Learning the new dance moves. <laughs> the Watusi. He's like, I like the show, man. I like it. <laughs> like it. In his diaper. What does he like about it? I like the people dancing. I like that the people don't wear diapers. He's got like he's got cigarettes in his in his uh, orange soda bottle. Oh. That's his ashtray. Jeez, what, Aren't you guys afraid longer? he's going to burn down the hotel? That's what uh, I think. I, I, Me I, I too. Thought, I have thought about that, but he's pretty good. Who, so wait a second. Wait a second. Who, wh <laughs> like what are the sleeping arrangements? He sleeps in his room. His own room. Yeah. No. And you guys just, you I'm shut the door. door. But wait a second. You guys put him in a room, <laughs> and you trust that he won't get up in the middle of the night and walk out, that he won't burn down a room. Right. And anything else. He goes in the room. He turns on the heat to 100. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Christ. He takes off his clothes to his diaper. <laughs> he lights up a cigarette. Oh, no. And the bottle with the cigarettes in it is right next to the no smoking thing. <laughs> he gonna, puts on American bandstand. He's going to burn something down. And then when it's, when it's showtime, I knock. When it's time.
time for the big show, I knock on his door. Oh, and I say, BD, you got 10 minutes. Get in a clean diaper. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. I don't know. Don't you think it's weird that he's like never left the room at night? Don't you think that he could just wander? He uh, does sometimes. He wandered off the last show we did in uh, Connecticut. <laughs> he did? We found him by a hot dog stand. <laughs> oh, my God. Because <laughs> <laughs> he cursed me out because I was interrupting him as he was eating a hot dog. <laughs> we lost does him. Does he have money? Yeah, he's got like a he's, he's got like ten singles in his wallet oh, to buy like goodness. like orange soda and I think cigarettes. we lost him in Philly once. He did a show with us in Philly a few years ago and he wandered. <laughs> he disappeared after the show. But, Florentine's in the parking lot. Levy's in the bathroom. I'm outside. We find him <laughs> three blocks away, eating a hot dog, rapping with the hot dog guy oh. like nothing's going on, and he starts cursing us out when we say we have to go. Oh, oh that's funny. Howard, uh. you got to take a camera on the road. It's unbelievable. You should go with it. Hey, where's the camera crew for that? They're busy with, the, with every strip club they go to. Right. They're well, opening every score. Let's get Doug on that plane. Yeah, well, camera. get him on there. Oh. That I need tape of. These Be guys, with a strip club, everybody drops everything. <laughs> right, right, right. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Something good's going on. That, that, no, that You can't find a volunteer. Man. Lazy you know, bastards. I, I absolutely agree with you, yeah. but don't blame me for that. I mean, I just this is what I'm finding out right now. Like, I would love to do Well, this. check into it. You're big Yenta. Yeah. Well, I don't know well, how to get a flight to L.A. Get and, a and flight to L.A. You don't know how to get a flight to L.A. You see, if, there was, if I told you else. scores was opening in L.A. right now, you'd find <laughs> oh, a man. flight. Jeff on Jeff Blue. Seriously. We'll figure it out. Blue. You're a producer. Right, we'll Seriously. Yeah, no, we'll figure it out. We'll see if we can do this. Uh, we put have some an energy. crew, so maybe someone out there could do it. Yeah, you don't want to miss this. Yeah, it sounds, uh, sounds wild. <laughs> but they're going to need a producer, Doug. I don't know why he... Yeah, Doug doesn't need to be there. Suddenly no one needs to be there. Holy mackerel. You can always tell it's Beatles' room, too, because the blowers are going <laughs> in that, on that heater. I got to get out of here. Oh, That's so crazy. Funny. Oh, man. man. What time's uh, your flight? 2.30. Uh, uh. Now, have you ever, you've never flown with him before. I've flown with Beatles, yes, to Vermont. I've flown with, to Florida. and then, But nothing like six not hours. Not six hours, so I'm, real, I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> the one time in Vermont, he didn't c*** his pants, but his breath was so... Oh. Bad. It and was, you got to sit next to him on the plane. Well, it was like that I makes can't... sense that his breath would. Be Does he bad. talk the whole time too? Is he talkative? A little bit, but his breath isn't. I can't. Even, it's like bad fish and. Yeah. It's hard to explain. That's probably his diet. And does he drink? Oh, oh yeah. he drinks. Oh, does he man. drink on the plane? Yeah, he drinks. Yeah, on the plane he drinks all day. I can't believe the amount of booze he puts away. <laughs> he wow. smokes and drinks like like a. Like a 250-pound animal. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I can't what even What does he imagine. drink on the plane? Um, Probably beers, right? No, no, he doesn't drink beer. He drinks alcohol, but I think it's vodka. So, I mean, he's got to be like a racehorse in I that think, diaper. Yeah, he's just <laughs> taking it in and letting it out. Doesn't even have yeah, to I move. Mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, how now that, now that it's like a great it, time. He never gets up to go to the bathroom, ever. Right. <laughs> he doesn't have to. He just goes. <laughs> I can it's like you a, imagine what's doing in that diaper? <laughs> then you get off the plane and you got to take a car right to the hotel? Oh, that's exactly. what I'm saying. The, they, they, they need to stop and change that diaper. You've got to find a way to get that diaper off. Here's the deal. We land at 530, right? So now by the time we get in the car, it's quarter to six. It's <laughs> Friday night traffic in L.A. Uh, Minimum oh. hour to the hotel. And now oh. Beetle's ripe. Right, I, now mean, Beetle's someone's ripe. Got, I mean, seriously, I mean, he's going to get diaper rash or I'm worse. I'm telling you, if he's sitting there in a wet diaper all that time, Absolutely. something's got to be going yeah, on. Yeah, we got to get a camera in his diaper. <laughs> diaper cast so we can see what's going on in there. Man. Holy mackerel. You really, he's got to pee at least four or five times during that flight if he's drinking like that. Minimum. And then he, he's maybe moving his bowels in, at some point. Uh, well, definitely. he gets so relaxed, you know, you just go. We got to go. But can we got to get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you are getting on that you, plane. You have no idea. I was almost a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get out of this? You, you found Beetle was going on. He backed out. Uh, did you? I'll go by myself. I said. <laughs> Book me on Jerry, my you're own. really bumming out. I am. I just didn't know. I mean, it started out. I feel for Gary. It, it, it started bummed. out with Artie's doing a comedy show in April. Can you go? And I said, yeah. Then it started out. Well, Artie's not available, but can you go? And I'm like, yeah. Then it started out. You know, we'll get an appearance during the day. It's right near the casino, but it turns out it's like 80 miles from the casino. Right. Then it's like, well, hey, Friday night we can get you another gig, but I didn't realize we were in LA. I didn't realize, I didn't realize how far it was to Palm Springs. But I don't even mind the travel, just when you throw the Beetlejuice thing, and it's weird. Yeah. It's bad. Oh, that's going to be something. Can't wait till Monday. See, now. but you guys are all pretending like he's not going to the bathroom on the plane. He's going. He's going. And yeah, you got to come up with a plan. I mean, it, it's just going to. It's going to be. See, the, here's the thing that I haven't understood all week. I've been sort of, you know, uptight about this. 
And Sal likes laughing and laughing. And because I just he's was, just, you know what he's doing? He's just putting Beetle on a plane, and, and he's going to wait till they get to the hotel and th- just throw him in the room and say, go change your diaper. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, so now you got me. So you don't, he's only going to pack two diapers. So now you got me, Sal, Beetlejuice, <laughs> Bob, and Jim Florentine in a limo. I mean, four more irresponsible people you could have found. <laughs> because really, during the flight, they should take him in and let him change his I mean, diaper. Because yeah. it's got to be so. I'm not sure Jim Florentine doesn't wear a diaper. Yeah. Oh, Jim. Uh, <laughs> oh, and Jim is, has no uh, sympathy. He'll just, right. he'll just fart. Right. Uh, like, he'll add to the stench and, and right. laugh. He'll just uh, fart. I mean, Jim. No. Go up to him, but there's not one responsible guy there who's going to go, you know what? Beetle's probably uncomfortable. We've got to look into this. And you wonder why Beetle gets lost. But, uh. but Jim's in the airport. He'll go up to the sweetest old lady go, where's Terminal B12? And as she's replying, you hear... Oh, no. I, I don't know. Man. It, is, it isn't funny when Jim does. No. <laughs> it's it's, it's Beetle Beetlejuice is funny. All right. Well, so I'll see you on Monday, and I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, I can't wait. So does this mean Gary gets to sit next to Beetle if we're taping this? No. Yes. All right. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I got to tell you right now. I'm, <laughs> call me a jerk. I negotiated a better deal. I'm flying a business class. I got Ambien, oh, and I'm passing man. out. But I know, I'm gonna, I know that I'm going to wake up in the middle of the flight. I know there's going to be a commotion. Right. Do you know what I mean? Done. I just know that there's going to be a commotion. <laughs> there and it's have be been these guys. times that Beetle has not made it. Yeah. He's been ten- thrown off planes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get him drunk before the flight. Yeah, I mean, you should be a good sport, man. Just sit next to Beetle. Be funny. But no. Why, what, what's a good sport? I didn't sign up to be his handler. <laughs> Whatever you want to call Somebody's got to handle you. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the organ grinder. I love Beetlejuice. I think he's a funny guy. But it doesn't mean I have to spend the next 72 hours with him. Uh, day and night. Funny. Beetlejuice called. He didn't want to be in the same car with Gary. You know what? A chimpanzee would be easier. Because, you know, a chimpanzee, you could just change the diaper. You know what? Right. No, but I'll tell you something. My cousin had a monkey, <laughs> yeah. and the monkey used to wear a diaper. But the monkey also can't tell you when right, the diaper's but you could full. at least, but you could change the you monkey. You could change the monkey's diaper every it. four or five hours. just gets belligerent if you try to change his right. diaper. Right. Because what you want to do is just have him just pull it off, throw it in the garbage somewhere, and and put on a new diaper. I just don't want to be on that plane under any circumstances. <laughs> so could you all please alert me whenever and wherever you're going? You got it. Yeah, please. An Amber alert. Yeah, we do not want to be with you. <laughs> oh, man. What are you getting paid? To- not much, but it helps. I need it. Yeah. You know? It helps. It definitely helps right now. So I got to do what I got to do. All right. You know, and he's happy. He's happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. He knows he's the best. This is Beedle. is as bad as can. He knows. Wow. It was just as funny listening to it back. Oh, yeah. He knows he's better, and he knows he <laughs> I can't wait to hear what happened he once he they hit L.A. And he knows or just getting on the plane. Yeah. Yeah, once they hit the airport. I got to take a break for... Hey, what's with bleeping uh, the word crap and pee? What's going on? There were bleeps in there I couldn't understand. I said bathroom once. Room got bleeped. Yeah, bathroom. <laughs> I can't wait to get out of here and just go back to doing what we do. Believe it or not, every word they bleep is funny. Like I, perf- I, I At one point I threw in the word excrement or something. Or, or, I don't know what, or feces. That's what I put in, okay. feces. And because, they bleep that? Because I know it gets a laugh. They bleeped feces. <laughs> yeah, every reference to that. Yeah. It, 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 regardless of whether or not it's offensive. Hey, Pete, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Right. Yeah, I saw uh, Beetlejuice in uh, the Hamptons a couple of years ago, and he was... Dude, dude. easy, dude. my friend. All right, I had to bleep him off. F word doesn't fly here. If excrement doesn't fly here, you'll if know. If bathroom doesn't get through. <laughs> the F word definitely doesn't get through. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me take a break, and then I'll ask Gary and Sal to come in, and we'll find out what happened over the weekend with Beetlejuice and the appearance. and <clears throat> That'll be fun. Tonight on E! Insanely Hot Playboy Playmates, Buffy Tyler and Suzanne Stokes. I'm not kidding you. They're insanely hot. And it started off as a real annoying interview because they were just being annoying, and then we told them they were annoying, and then they got topless, and we strapped them into the tickle post, and then they weren't so annoying. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Buffy yeah. Tyler and Suzanne Stokes tonight on E. You'll love it. That's hot. Yeah. Let me take a break and then we'll, because I'm dying to find out what happened.
Yeah, this is like the other part of the story we we're dying to hear. No. All right. Here's Fred Durst talking about his relationship with Britney Spears. See, that's the reason I ask these questions. I need to substantiate the story so we can prove her wrong. I'll exactly. tell you right now. Go ahead. Girl is a f-ing liar. Oh. She's a liar. <laughs> For sure. She's a liar. thousand percent. I believe you. Strike me dead right now. I don't think you need to lie about Poontang. Man, this is, it's just, it's unbelievable it's gotten to this point. It's like, that's enough already. You know, yeah, whatever right. happened, happened for a reason, and I, I did what I did. I believe everything happens for a reason. I have to face the piper, mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But that's the way it goes, and that's what happened. This. And it's just like, she's just too, too immature and too, I don't know what she's so worried about, man. The Howard Stern Show. Love blossoms like a flower on the Howard Stern Show. The show is ruined today now. You're such a jerk. Hey, 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 Gary, watch yourself carefully, pal. Do you know what? I can't wait to see you out on the show. He's fired. That's it. He's fired. <laughs> He's fired. He just called me a jerk. You're fired, Gary. You're Please. fired. You are fired. I want him out of here. Pack your bags and you're fired. <laughs> Go find a job. Get out of here. I'll do it. Get out. Get out before I blow my mind. Good times. You Great know. friends. Uh, I just want to get to the bottom of this L.A. trip with Beetlejuice. So <laughs> what happened? Give me, a, give it to me the best way you can. And, and, Doug, you went out and covered this, actually, didn't you? Yeah. It, it was a challenging weekend. Why? <laughs> Exhausting. <laughs> Why was well, it challenging? Just uh, keeping up with Beetlejuice is, is, is quite a challenge. It's, it's never-ending gimmicks and goofs and gags and laughing. It's so much fun. Well, was Beetlejuice exhausting. was pissed because he was driving in the car with Bob Levy when we were doing that rap on Friday that I just played. Bob had already picked him up from the corner. Yeah, so Beetlejuice called in with Bob and was already on fire. F- you! F- you too! You ain't got f- you! <laughs> Hello? They just want to make it better. What's wrong? I don't wrong? give a with that man. I don't give a Well, what's wrong? What made you mad? I don't give a Is it Gary? I'm tired of everybody picking up. I'm tired of this. Gary, I was So, Gary, what did Gary do? That piece of What did Gary do to you? My sister's monkey ass. This monkey ass? Uh, I got something for the ass. Let's watch. I got something for the ass. Do you want to sit next to Gary or Sally? I ain't sitting next to no fing body. But you don't sit next to Gary? You want something to say about me? You in, I'll everybody. You got to do the appearance with Sal and Gary. Jim, I don't give a about them fans. I don't give a fing. You're going to beat somebody's ass. You're going to beat somebody's ass? That's right. I ain't fing. I ain't got time for it. Jim. You're going to be cool with them? I don't know. I'm cool with no fing body. Everybody else want to talk about me, too? Wow, man. Mm. What, is Bob driving with one hand and got the... Yeah. He's pretty good. He's ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> like he's moving that telephone around. <laughs> so what? tell me everything that happened. So as soon as I get to the airport on Friday and Beetle just sees me, he starts yelling at me. <laughs> more, more of that. See, I, I, I'm hearing that for the first time. <laughs> So Are I you tried- laughing the whole time, Sal? It was the best. He, he's yelling at Gary. I told him the story. He's like, hey, Dave, how you doing? Yeah, he thinks Sal is he's, Dave. He thinks right. I'm Dave or Jim. And who's Dave? I don't know. Dave's the guy that ha- that handles Beetlejuice. Wow. Sal oh, is the guy he's angry with. Right. Wow. If he right. could have found Sal, he would have yelled yeah, at Yeah, he says, when I get to the studio, I'm going to take care of Sal. <laughs> and he's yelling at Gary the whole time. So, so, Howard, at one point, we're walking towards a plane, and I'm a good 30 yards in front of Beetlejuice because who wants to hear this crap? And you can hear him. It cuts right through the airport. Right. We get we get over to oh the gate. God. The plane's delayed an hour. Oh. Now we're hanging at TGI Fridays, you know, having nachos or whatever. And I watch like Beetle just like he wanders around. But at one point, like right off the bat, they go, "Where's Beat?" We turn well, around, was he going, yelling at you the whole no, time? No, like he, he stopped yelling for a little while. <laughs> then we turn around and we realize it's quiet. Where's Beat? No, Gary's we, eating nachos. So, so, His fingers are full of cheese and salsa, and Gary's just nodding, and Beetle's cursing at him the whole time. <laughs> so then Gary orders a glass of water, and B goes, you want me to pick that up for you? Like, he offered to pay for his water. Right, right. right. So it was so so strange. So we, we go, where's Beetlejuice? He's, he's gone. Right. So Sal goes, you, you know, now it's already, I'm involved already. You go that way, I'll go this way. I he comes out of the bathroom. Beetle comes out of the bathroom like, hey, how you doing, man? Like nothing. But he was gone. Like he could have just walked right out of the Queens Boulevard. Nobody yeah. would have known. <laughs> you know? So then back to waiting for the plane. 
And then but Beetlejuice... Sal doesn't stress like like I have to keep my eye oh, on him. Oh, nobody stresses. I was stressing more than any of them. See, that's why I couldn't go. I swear to God. That's and... why he can say I'll take care of Beetlejuice because he's really not going to be that involved. It's no bother. Yeah. Th- there was I, a... love, I love when he disappears. There was a, Howard, there was a great <laughs> moment this weekend where I, I forget what it was, but at one point Sal put his hand on my shoulder and he goes, all right, listen, we got to get a plan. Here's our plan. And he goes, oh, wait a minute. You're not involved. You don't need to be part of the plan. Right. Go, exactly. Oh, why not get one of those leashes for Beetlejuice? Talked about that. Bob talked about that. Like a leash. Yep. Like a, like they do on little kids. Right, exactly. But would Beetle be wouldn't wouldn't go for that. No? You asked? I, I think Bob said they tried it once. How'd just, that asking go? You just put it on him. Yeah, how about just putting it on him? You don't ask your dog if he has to wear a leash. You just put it on him. But sure my Beetle. question is, when did he ditch the diaper? <laughs> Oh yeah, what happened with that? So when you, so you're all right, so keep going. You're at the airport. So, so now we're waiting to get on the plane, and then Beetlejuice is like, "Was he wearing a diaper?" I don't know. All right, that Beetlejuice is liking me, and then all of a sudden he's not liking me again. So it's more yelling, just yelling, yelling, yelling. Now I'm trying to have a conversation with Sal. That you know they're going, okay, plane number one twenty eight is going to go. I'm trying to listen to everything, and I hear, mother, mother, you mother, 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 you know, screaming. And, and the weird thing is, is that and does everyone in the airport know what's going on? Well, yeah, and the weird thing is that we have already now ignored him. Right. So people are staring at us, not not paying attention to him. <laughs> and this is just the getting on the plane. We haven't got on the plane yet. Yeah. So are you we, miserable? It was weird because I, I actually felt sort of bad that he understood what we were talking about, but it just didn't end. Right. It just didn't. I mean, he doesn't stop. Did he say to you, I don't wear a diaper? I don't wear a diaper. Who the hell are you to talk about me? You guys are crazy. You're like, I don't kick your ass. At one point, he's he's at TGI Fridays. I just walked away, and I hear, I'm 30 yards away. I'm here. I'm going to F you up, man. If he had thrown a punch at you, would you have fought back? No. What would you do? I would hold the hand and just stop him. You right. figure you could catch Step the punch him. and just yeah. take yeah. it. Step but, on him. By the way, I have never seen a human eat as much as Beetle just eats. Yeah. It is a nonstop eating frenzy. I know. I noticed that about him, too. He likes to eat Hell, a lot. It just, he, just, he buys food nonstop. He eats and eats, and when he's done eating, he eats more. And what does he eat? Like bad food? Anything. No. Yeah, mostly bad food. He bought like a like one of those gross hot dogs at a stand <laughs> in the airport. Uh, Doritos. Uh, That's candy. pretty thin for a guy. Yeah, he doesn't gain weight. I mean, Harry, he just he just eats. We went, we stopped at like an In and Out Burger in L.A. He had a whole bunch of food, but every time I turned around, he was eating. Is he farting up a storm? Well, all I could think of, you know, what goes in must come out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so then we we got on the plane. And I went to the front, and I fell asleep, and I didn't hear a thing during Did the you flight. sit next to him on the plane, Sal? Uh, I sat next to a lady who he was supposed to sit next to. I couldn't let She was such a sweet lady. And she saw a beetle, and her eyes almost popped out of her head, and she sunk into her chair. <laughs> and she looked at me like I, I had to throw her a raft or something, right, a life like, preserver. Like, save please, me. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw the fear, look of fear in her face. I go, Beetle, you sit there. So I sat him next to some guy. Uh, and this guy, <laughs> this poor guy was reading a book. And he was just reading a book, looking down. He never looked up. He refused to look at Beetlejuice. <laughs> and as soon as Beetlejuice t- sat down, he started rapping with this guy. He's like, hey, man, how you been? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't understand one word. The guy took the book and put it over his face. <laughs> and he held it there for the whole flight. <laughs> But, like, did, now, Beetle ate a whole bunch of food and had drinks and stuff before he got on the yeah. plane. Did he get up and go to the bathroom a lot? Yeah. Well, I said, Beat, let's go to the bathroom. He's like, all right, Jim, let's go. So we go to the bathroom. <laughs> right. Jim, Dave, yeah. what is your name? Well, I don't know. So we get into the bathroom, and there's a few, you know, and Beetle's like, hey, go in, that, go in that one, Jim. Go in that stall. I go, no, Beetle, you go in that stall. This is about Beetle. He's like, no, no. And he goes, I'm okay. I go, no, no, go, go ahead. So I have to, like, kind of coach him and make him Wait, feel Wait, this is on the plane, sir? No, this is in the, no. Oh, in an airport? Yeah. Oh, before. what about on the plane, though? No, on the plane, no. He did didn't. he get up and go at all? Nope. And he didn't Not have a problem. And he didn't have a diaper. No. I don't know if he did. I think, no, he had a diaper on the plane. Because mm-hmm. then when we got to the hotel. He had to. He yeah. did. So, so after that, so how our diaper. The L.A. station got me a car, right, for the weekend, but not one from the airport. The, 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 and, the, and Beetle must have been smelling on the plane. Now, how do you let a guy sit next to a man? That's not fair. I, I, what, what you should have traded seats. But it was the lady. I had to sit next to the lady. Why? Why? You should have let the guy Beetle and the lady sit next right, to each other, right. and you and Beetlejuice oh, sit together. Oh, it never occurred to me. You're stock broker. You can't do that math. <laughs> yeah, I can't. It never occurred to him. <laughs> right. But you know what's funny? Like Gary, Gary is like. You know, he's taking all this crap, and as soon as we get on the plane, he puts his hand on my shoulder. He goes, hey, Sal, you're going that way, and I'm going that way. I'm, he's got this big smile on his oh, face. Oh, imagine I broke Sal's balls for a moment. Mm. That's all he does. You'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So so we get to the airport in L.A. The station got me a car for the whole weekend, but just not from the airport 
And Doug, are you with these guys getting this all on camera? No. 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 At this point, no. At the airport, you can't. First of all, you can't shoot on the air, on an airplane or in an airport or you go to no. jail. Oh. Which, uh, but we, Doug, we, did, we Doug were... didn't get out there till yeah. later that night. And then my flight got delayed like oh. hours. So we get. So now it's all of us in a car, right, we yeah. have to go to the, to the hotel. But I said to Sal, again, I'm thinking like I have like when I had a three-year-old. I said, don't bring him in the car till you take him to the bathroom. Oh. Take him to the bathroom at LAX first. Don't bring him in the car. Oh, right. So I goes, no, no, no. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I didn't want him to go to the I wanted him to go in the bathroom in the car with Gary next to him. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we got to the hotel, and uh, and everything was fine. You know, Beetle was very, he was very quiet. He goes into these weird funks where he doesn't say anything. Which is fine. And then just breaks out of him like that. Right. Go to the hotel. We all check in. Beetle has his own room. Then we're going to go out to dinner. And, uh, and so You're going to take Beetle to dinner? Well, this, again... I said, Sal, would you like to hey. go to dinner? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, well, Bob wants to come with us, too. And I go, well, who's going to watch Beetle? He goes, you're right. I'll tell Bob to stay with Beetle. Two seconds later, all spiffed up, Bob and Beetle are like, where are we going to dinner? <laughs> oh, so no. we, and we went to a nice restaurant, a really nice restaurant. Did Beetle behave? He behaved. He behaved really? fine. Sat at the end of the table. Can yeah. he order? Or does somebody well, order? He can. He can. He can order. Do you yeah. read off the menu? Well, yeah. the, when I took him to breakfast the next morning, he ordered. I don't know. What did he do that night? He looked. I don't know what he ordered that he night. He looked at eggs. It was, he was looking at the menu. It said eggs Benedict, and he ordered the hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> he reads the menu for this. 10 minutes. Oh he stared at right. He wants you to believe he's he's pouring over that menu. Oh, oh, the menu. It's upside down. <laughs> and, was it? and did he order a, a hamburger? Yeah. He ordered, so, but he was pointing at eggs Benedict. He said, yeah. I'll have this. I, uh, it said eggs Benedict, hamburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. But that was a breakfast or dinner? The, what did he do? Dinner. 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 I think they had we, a cheeseburger at a fancy restaurant? No, no, no. See, you get confused. These guys are talking about breakfast. Yeah, no, dinner. What he do? At the fancy restaurant i think that somebody ordered for him we ordered a lot of stuff but whatever it was he was hey, howard he was so quiet you didn't even know he was at the table wow i mean i really the only th- thing that you knew you know it was weird because every once in a while you looked at the table there's beetlejuice right but Be- he was very quiet we, hey. we go into our gig that and he night. ate whatever you ordered for yeah he, he was fine right we go into our gig that night. And I'm going to tell you, Sal did one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my life. Do people at the restaurant stare at Beetlejuice? Yes. Yeah. Now, and does Beetle order a drink at a restaurant? I'm just he wondering. drinks nonstop, too. So right. He drinks, you know, beers, beers, beers all the time. Just pounding them down. Right. So we go to do this appearance. It's like a meet and greet. Forty listeners get to hang out with me and Sal. Was Beetlejuice there? He was there with the girls. The girl who puked. She yeah, sucked on his. This girl was there. She was drinking. <laughs> she, she, so she, she, she goes Beetlejuice, and she gives him a hug. I go, Hey, give Beetlejuice a kiss. So she's like a little reluctant. Four drinks later, she's sucking on his tongue. Oh. Wow. On, it was. Was I she was, hot? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Hot. Sal's like Sal's one of those. Inst- is she really be Sal the instigator? Well, it's okay. But a hot so anyway. chick is sucking face yeah. with Beetlejuice. Yeah. yeah. And Howard. Uh oh. Wait. Beats on the phone. Hey, Beat. Beetle. Everybody look at him. Hey, I gotta get away from breast lips. Hey, Beat. It's it's Howard. Yeah. Uh, how was the appearance? Yeah. I hear you, Howard. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, everything go okay with the appearance? Yeah. Yeah, I heard you were mad at Gary. Yeah, I was. Yeah, he started in with that diaper. Lips, stuff. lips talking about me. Look at him. Look who he's talking to. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. But you were wearing a diaper, right? Me? Do I look like I'm wearing a diaper? No. Yeah, why, why are these guys saying you wear a diaper, Beat? He wears a diaper. Look at what he's talking about. Yeah. And he got the nerve to talk about me. Look at him. Every you... time he's talking about people, look at him. Look at his lips. Was it hard to... Uh... His breasts won't stink. Was Everybody it... just look at him when they win. Was it hard to go to the... Um... You didn't use the restroom. You didn't use the bathroom on the airplane. Did what I did. <laughs> what did he say? I don't need no diaper. Look at him. He needs more than diapers diaper than anybody else needs. Well, Look at him. He needs to be a well diaper. Right. So, so uh, when you go on a plane, you hold in your business, and then you wait till you get off the plane to go to the bathroom. Me, I get off the plane first. Yeah. That's what I do. So he says. He says he he held it in, and then when he gets to the hotel, he went to the bathroom. No, well, I went to the bathroom. He, he the one that's talking junk. Wait a minute, Sal. Did you have to do your usual routine? Take him to the room, turn on the tub, and, yep. and uh, I don't need nobody to turn on the tub. I turn on the tub myself. Put on there. I ain't no little cat. It's Sal saying what he does is that your diaper's full, and he puts on a tub, and then he. I leaves. don't need no diaper. All right, that's what these guys are saying. Yeah, they need to wear a diaper. Look who's talking with the big ass lips. I mean, he got the nerve to talk about somebody. Look at him. See, my point is, I know Beat knows how to go to the bathroom. Of course he does, but I don't know if anybody ever asks him. Yeah. I think he does. What, did you see him go in his diaper at all? I didn't. I heard that, you know, so I was in my own car the rest of the weekend. 
Yeah, but you were scared to get in the car with me because you got to know to talk about me, you big lip. I was scared to get in the car with you, right. I heard that from the trip from the appearance at Sit and Sleep to the casino that there might have been some sort of an accident. Actually, look at look at look at stalking. You got the nerve to talk about people. Look at you. No, Did you have an accident? Yeah, you got you? the nerve to talk about me. Look at look at his lips. <laughs> Did you have an accident? Do I have an accident? No way. No. Never. I, I like how Beetle makes the reference, uh, the comparison of Gary's Never lips to, uh, going Never. into a diaper. He's <laughs> easy to wear a That's diaper with his big lips. All right. Hey, Beat, thanks for calling in. You're welcome. All right. Good for you, man. Good good talking to you. I know I'm going to see you later in the week. All right, dude. All right, Beat. All right. Later. That's later. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, everybody. So, 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 I don't get it. He, so he clearly had a diaper on the plane, Sal, right? Right, he had, he had a diaper to. on the plane. So he never when, got up. He even was, said just oh, now he's... He never wear a diaper. He must be out of his mind. <laughs> Pete, you just said you did a number one on the plane. You never Oh, look who's talking. He, he didn't need a diaper for number two, so what is he saying? All right. Well, yeah, so go ahead. So we get to the hotel, and I turn on the tub and go, Pete, just do your thing. Oh, so you did all that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, but because of what happened on Friday... Now he's not participating. You know, oh, really? The, yeah. He's getting well, out of my like room, I'm just the look at him. I don't need any help. And I don't need no help. Right. What well, I think I ain't no little kid. <laughs> but look at him. He's a kid himself. So listen, what you no bad say? beat. If you make it your pants, so you get in the tub and you wash it off. That's hey, all. No I, big deal. I wash myself up every day. I don't know what is he talking about. Anybody can have an accident. Yeah. Robin had an accident in in, um, in California, and Mexican. And I got in the tub. Sal turned on the water. I got in the tub. Yeah, Robin had an accident. A lot of people have an accident. A lot of people does. Right. So they ain't got nothing to do with me. All right, B. All right, hey, I got to go. I'll see you later. All right. All right, take it easy, B. Yeah, take it easy. And, all go, right. to, uh, and go to Beetlejuice's website, too, by the way. Jollydwarf.com. Jollydwarf.com, yeah. Yeah. All right, so... So yeah. then he's yelling at me and cursing at me. He's like, I'm not putting on no diaper, ain't no kid, F Gary. He's going crazy on Gary, and he storms out of the hotel room, and he leaves the hotel. Wait, oh. I, got, I got tape of Beetle yelling about his diaper. Want to hear it? Yeah. F*** you. F*** you too. You ain't... Wait, that ain't the right one. Hold on, hold on. I got it here now. Yeah, but we got to clean up, Beat. What was I cleaning up for? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, because Gary says, you know, if you go with... All right. So you all cleaned up. I'm cleaned up. This is when you're taking him to dinner? No, this is in the hotel room. I'm getting it because Gary doesn't want to go out with him unless he's cleaned up. I mean, the guy hasn't gone to the bathroom all day. So all right. we're in the hotel room and I'm trying to get the tub going. I'm trying to get him going. No, we just want to. No, no, it ain't. Well, Gary's afraid that you're going to in your diaper. And if you do that, he's going to. Diaper. I don't wear no diaper. I don't wear no baby. I ain't no kid. Well, I don't wear diaper. Drop it. I don't need no diaper. Oh my God! There's no amount of money worth it. So then he storms out of the hotel. He goes out in the lobby. He tries to take off. We have to stop him. So what do you do now? Now he's not wearing a diaper, and you took him to dinner. Yeah. And he didn't wash. Uh, he went back to his hotel, and he think he shut the door, and he and he washed himself up by right. himself. He had to. Have. So what does he have? Does he have a regular underwear in his suitcase as well? Well, I tried to look in, in his bag for the diapers, but he busted me. Because uh. we were really worried. We got back in the limousine, and I go into the bag to see the diapers. And I don't know how it happened, but Beetle got out of the car, and he totally busted me looking for his diapers. He flipped out again. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Beetle doesn't know where he is? Oh, that's great. Oh, that's that, a, we we, we that took him out Saturday morning. morning. We were walking him down... Hollywood Boulevard to look at the star, the Walk of Fame. Yeah. Just asking where he was, and he said, I don't know. How do you feel, Beat? Yeah, I feel pretty great, man. Now, as you know, Beat, we're in Hollywood, California. What state are we in? I, I really don't know about this, man. Really. If you had to guess, what state would you say we're in? I don't know. Really, I don't know nothing about this, man. Let me give you a multiple choice. New Jersey, California, or Florida? It could be Florida. All right, so he doesn't know where he is. No, never. So we t- I took him to breakfast, and um, and how he ordered. Like, he sat down. I mean, he looks at the menu. He can't read it, but he knew he wanted a hamburger. And uh, it, he didn't cause any commotion. Like, people weren't even looking at him that weird. Wow. He ordered. Then we left, and we went to uh, to the first appearance. So now me and Sal and Beetlejuice are sitting at this table at, in a mattress store. 
Right. And Sal starts it on me immediately. I'm signing pictures, and Sal's drawing pictures of me. <laughs> right? I'm talking about, like, a head on a horse with big teeth. <laughs> and I thought that, and I thought to myself, well, it, certainly he'll get bored with this after the first three or four. Howard, you get to this thing, and all you see is these 250-pound gorillas with no teeth and goatees and chain wallets, and I didn't even want to look up. I right. go, man, it was like night of 500 Brian Sa- Phelans, you know? Sal was, like, sort of embarrassed to be there. Why? He's like, how do you handle I wasn't the- embarrassed. He, he was, his whole thing was like, well, what's going to go on here? I go, what's going to go on here is everyone's going to come and make fun of you. People feel when they wait online, it's their right to insult you. Right. And it's like, oh, my God. You so know I what? figured, let me play it safe. I'm just going to look down and draw as many pictures of see. Gary as I possibly can. Sit in sleep crowd ragging on Sal. Howard, this is two feet away from him. Nice. <laughs> Literally two feet away from him. Oh, my God. Beetle Reed stars on Walk of Fame. What's that? Well, these oh, stars with, uh... with the, the celebrity names on them. So the first one said Jerry Lewis, and you'll see. what Beetle was trying to read the names on, on the stars. He didn't know what that star said. Here's another star. Uh, I never heard of it. I never did, dude. I've never been in. I never did, dude. Yeah, but what, is, what does this star say? I don't know. And what is this shape? I know it's shaped like a heart. What else, man? Shaped like what? It's shaped like a heart, dude. Like a heart. Yeah. You know, single. You know. All right, so we're gonna read another star. Look at this one. Now, what what does that star say? Howard Stern. Howard What's Stern? that? Yep. Howard Stern. There you go, Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah. It's Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Close enough. What's this beetle ragging on Gary some more? Yeah, it went on never ending. It, it, because it, it would just Howard. It would he would suddenly remember he hated me. <laughs> So, Beat, man, what's up with Gary? You went in the other car. Why? Because he's a f***ing bull****. He wants some bull****** with everybody else. He won't call people names. He ain't want nobody calling him names. Right. I don't give a f***. He ain't like it because he knows I say things about him. Because he's asked for f***ing fat. That's why his ass talking about people. I'm talking about getting the toe. Look at him. He's fat ass need to get the f***ing toe. <laughs> That's why everybody call him f***ing fat. Look, look at his lip. Let me, let me talk about it. Look at this, look at this teeth. Look at his green and his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he talk like a baby. Was that me? Was Beetle just, just imitating me? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job. Limo Mike, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. <laughs> this is funny. I dropped him off that morning at Bob Levy's uh, the apartment. Uh huh. And he was there. Usually I have time to stop at a hotel, hose him down, get the bottle of Fantastic out. But this was, he was the worst I ever. I, I called Bob. I said, Bob, this is the worst. He goes, you're kidding me. I said, no. So what do you I think it is? Time. Does he have a load in his pants? Yeah, he just has you know, little problems sometimes. That's all. But usually I have time to wash them all up and all that. But I had no time at all. I was wow. working. So I was running all around. But that's who I said. I don't get paid enough, man. No, you don't. No, you don't. Freddie, you're on the air. Hey, good morning, Howard. Who, uh, who's in charge of making sure that he cleans himself the right way? Sa- who's checking him? Who's doing the inspection? No one. No one. No one. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's no. Pr- I, there's, nobody feels pressured to to keep an eye. I mean, they keep an eye on him to a degree. Right. Like I, I got here, I got up Saturday morning, right? I'm walking around. When I come into the hotel, Beatles just is leaning against the counter. Goes, ah, you're up early. Nobody else is around. Beatles out of his room. <laughs> Could have been anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of me that I'm up early. You're up early. <laughs> <laughs> Your worst oh, nightmare. <laughs> Come down for a nice quiet breakfast. <laughs> oh, so so I, and I what do you do? You just walk away? Well, yeah, I hey, but, you know, I just try to placate him any way I can. Right. You know, to, I, I don't want to. I'm not looking to start a fight. You with didn't him. invite him to breakfast. I did, and oh. I I did. A, we took him to breakfast. Oh. Right. And he doesn't stink at breakfast. Well, or? no, he doesn't. I'll tell you where where it got bad when we went to do the comedy show. It was a very, very, very tiny backstage area, and I swear, it wasn't like a doo-doo smell. It was like a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what the hell's going on? I said, what the hell's So Sal apparently said, that's his breath, yeah, so I don't get too close to him. Yeah. Oh, but, my goodness. But then what happens is once he gets, Beetlejuice's way of getting ready for the show, just start pounding down beers. Right. So now he's good and liquored up, and I think there's a great clip What's on wrong there with that? Where he decides to show us that he doesn't wear a diaper. Oh, no. See, like, for instance, I know Beetle just wears boxers. Let's see. Oh. And I've also seen... I got Sal and Beetle's bag, Gary's stand-up. Oh, I want to hear that. Beetle saying, hello, Cleveland. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Beetle yells at Gary. That's it. 
Troy Beetle yells at Gary. That might be it backstage. He's yelling at you? Yeah, this, again, the whole to day. To show you that he doesn't wear a diaper? Yeah. <laughs> you're mad at me, but why? Yeah, but why you got to say things about me? And what like, I got like what? Do you know what the f*** What I got to do with family? With what? Pampers? Yeah. What they got to do with me? Do you wear them? No. Do you wear a diaper? No. So if I pull your pants down right now, there's not a diaper on there. No. I pulled them down. Oh, and then, he, and then he did. And was there a diaper? First he pulls his pants down, and there's, there's boxer shorts that are way too big. Yeah. And then he pulled those down to his ankles, and he's standing there naked in front oh. of everybody. <laughs> Touching himself. Touching himself. Is this oh, on stage no. or backstage? No, this is backstage. backstage. You can tell stage. he's had a few drinks, too. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. More than a few, believe me. <laughs> and how was your stand-up? How'd that go? Oh, it was so funny. It, it was, was okay. Good? You know what? Listen, th I got to tell you, what you have on that tape is my first and last stand-up. Oh, no. I don't like doing it. I don't want to do it. I'm just, you know, I'm just not doing it anymore. But you paid for all those jokes. You know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll take the loss. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you pay for the jokes? You know, Bob won't take my money. I tried to give him 300 bucks. All right. So he won't take my money. I gotta, I'm just sending him I a check. I wouldn't take his money either after the week. <laughs> he said him. <laughs> we were sitting around backstage trying to figure out, how did they get the name for this? Morongo, Morongo. We thought the Indians were sitting around going, we must name this place Morongo. It's actually Morongo, Morongo, but they didn't finish it. It's Morongo Home. We have all your money. <laughs> Bob Levy helped me write these jokes. You might have heard on the air. Bob Levy helped me write these jokes. So I tried to pay the guy, and he wouldn't take any money. So I wanted to give him a gift. I said, hey, here's four courtside seats for the Lakers. And he goes, what? I thought I did you a favor. <laughs> hey, that wasn't bad. Come on, man. Thank you very much. So, you guys all heard on the air, I flew in with uh, Sal Stockbroker, Bob Levy, Beetlejuice. What a circus at the airport, I'm telling you. We were walking out, everybody thought it was a cast of Cirque du Soleil. We had the midgets and everybody. <laughs> I like it. This is good. It I'm is enjoying it. it. I've just been waiting all weekend to be hammered. I'm liking it. Is it you memorize this and everything, huh? No, it's, you know what's really funny? The guys that from E, they were doing the tape this morning, and they go, you know, you weren't bad, but we noticed every time you finish a joke, you take a drink. Mm -hmm. What happened was, Bob told me, I wrote out all like little bullet points on a piece of paper and I put my beer on top of it. Uh, so I finish a joke, uh, take a drink, and see what the next joke was. Uh, <laughs> so what do you guys think of Sal on the show so far? How do you think he's doing? He's a good guy, but I'll tell you, having Sal on the show, it's like having a chick on the show. You know, he cries like a chick. He wears makeup like a chick. That guy wears more makeup than a burn victim. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm liking You're it. You're good, Gary. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm going. And what's with the whole let me stay in your room, love me daddy thing? Right, that guy, he's more high maintenance than Star Jones at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Boom. <laughs> and what about Richard Christie? You like Richard Christie? I love him, but man, is he a pervert or what? The only one that knows more about porn than him is his. Is his what? His, I can't say it. His, you know, his, you know what? Yeah. Oh. His friend, his little friend. Pee -pee. Oh. Can't say that. That thing's been beat more times than Tommy Lee's drum. <laughs> I'm working on it. You know, you got to wonder about a guy who keeps a squeegee on top of his computer and paper towels by the nightstand. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know, I quit smoking. I quit smoking. It's been three months now. The good thing about it is I'm not smoking anymore. I'm healthy. The bad thing about it now is I, uh, I put on a little bit of weight. You might have noticed I put on a little bit of weight. So I'm getting these weird phone calls, these weird phone messages. Nice call. F*** you, you fat you fat bastard, die. So finally, I had to call the guys from Trim Spot. Say, stop calling me at home. <laughs> Thank you very much. We got a great show for you tonight. We got a lot of good guys. That was wow. good, Gary. Not bad. I, I liked had, it. They were with you. Yeah, no, they, they, were, they were with That was the first show. Yeah, I didn't think you the, did that bad. He, when Gary was bumming out. He's like, I don't, it was bad. I you didn't know what? think it was that bad. I'm though. not used to doing that on stage. So the second show... Had a couple of beers. The audience wasn't as with me. I just started cutting out jokes like crazy. No, no, no. no. You gotta. You, you don't have any faith in yourself. I don't. I don't I have any. I thought he was pretty good. I, you know, when he was saying he couldn't do that, I remembered back to the roast on the Channel 9 show. Yeah, you were good. Gary was great on that roast. Yeah. Well, you won't see much more of that out of me because you know what? It makes me want to vomit. Uh, <laughs> it really does. Yeah. It's, and, you know, Sal makes fun of me. Like, I'd rather be at sit and sleep 
having people make fun of me. Then, then do that. Then do that. Yeah. <laughs> but you could see, you could totally do 20 minutes. You could tell, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. Absolutely. You can do it. And certainly, if you wanted to be an MC, you do, right. you know, a few jokes between acts, you would be good. So Gary, yeah. Gary was so nervous backstage. He was, like, having palpitations. He was His whole mouth was dried up. And well, he was it's because he never did voice. it before. Yeah, he was pacing. losing his voice. So can I just tell you one funny thing that happened this weekend that Sal did? Sal's really, you're so off the map. So we go to this party on Friday night, and Ron Jeremy's there. Right. You know, the porn guy. Right. So he's just a nice guy. He's hanging out. He's ta- Sal's talking to him, and he's being really nice to Sal. So at one point, these two hot chicks from Boston see Ron, and they want to take a picture with him. Right. So they sit on his lap. They get ready to take the picture. <laughs> Sal drops his pants. He's, they're, on a, they're on steps. So Sal's two steps above him. Sal drops his pants and gives him a Roman. Ron didn't know what happened. He, I'm t- Howard, afterwards, he was traumatized. He came to me, and he goes, you know what? I've been in porn for 30 years. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that on my head before. <laughs> this is a guy who's done every disgusting thing to get ever done. He turns around and he goes, what was that? I go, my nuts. <laughs> you son of a bitch. He was really weirded out by it. Well, him. yeah. You That's... gave the guy a Roman. You mean you just walked up to him and threw a Roman? That's Ron Jeremy. <laughs> I told him he would. <laughs> Anybody got that picture? <laughs> yeah, 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 We're going to get it. you got to point that up on how uh, it's turned really? out. It was so embarrassing. Ah, it was so ah, funny. Five ah, minutes ah, later. You double team with him. Yeah, she passes <laughs> out and... <laughs> <laughs> she passes out on a booth, so I go where her face is, Levy goes where her butt is, and we're taking pictures, high-fiving each other as, we're oh. right, like, as we, if we were I raping her. Oh, geez. But the, the girl who made out with Beetlejuice, that's five, her. Five minutes later, <laughs> we we her she threw up in the booth. She threw up 10 feet from the booth. She threw up right outside the bathroom. Wow. All over the place. All over the place. Cleared, everywhere. cleared that place out like nobody's business. Jesus, uh, what a weekend. And we're in the car then uh, afterwards. We're in the car. Did with you go them. home with these guys? No, I went home by myself. But mm-hmm. uh, but when we were going from the sit and sleep to the casino, they, I get a call on the cell phone. Doug goes, open your window. Out my window. Beetle just hanging out the window. Give me the middle <laughs> finger yelling at me. Mm-hmm. Pete did a drive-by flip off to Gary. Right. It was funny. There's so much stuff. So many. So much hijinks in the car. So, yeah, like, so, yeah. We're just like, Beetle, Beetle is, we called it sleep paranoia. So, Beetle's exhausted. You can clearly see he's Well, I'll just... tell him why. Well, this is what happened. The, the ride, Howard, was... I think I had enough Beetle juice. Well, this is pretty funny. The ride was so long, there was nothing to do. So, we started ripping up paper and putting it on Beetle juice's head, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, as he's falling asleep, the paper's floating over his face. <laughs> <laughs> and then he wakes up, and he... There's, there's paper all over the place. So then he passes out again. <laughs> the second time he falls asleep. Does he get pissed off? No, he's no. okay. He's just like, he just shakes his head like, what's going on? Mm. The second time he falls asleep, we cut out two little pieces of paper, like two big teeth. <laughs> right. And we stick it to his lips, and he looks like a walrus. <laughs> hey, you take pictures? Yeah. 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 We so video video. Video. So <laughs> Here's another weird thing. That <laughs> I... the, funny, hold on. the funny thing is when he wakes up, he doesn't even feel <laughs> He bites down on them, and the teeth are hanging out in between his lips. <laughs> and he still doesn't get it. Uh, and then every time he falls asleep, Sal's putting, like, a, a feather oh, yeah. in his nose. And, and he put a feather in his like nose. freaking out. Well, no so, wonder he can't sleep. Poor guy. We're trying. Yeah, why can't he sleep? <laughs> We're going to the hotel. Tell him about the sleep paranoia then. Oh, yeah. So then, so then, this was the next morning. So next morning, he's absolutely exhausted. You can tell. He just, he's dozing off every two seconds. So as soon as he falls asleep, he just catches himself, and he, he wakes up, and he's like, so, w- eyes as wide as possible. Let's as sound. soon like, as his eyes <laughs> shut, Howard, it's like somebody <laughs> jolted him with a cattle prod, and he looks because right at every me. time this guy falls asleep, oh, I think there's somebody doing oh, something. Oh, it's you know what? <laughs> See, we got it on tape. When he wakes up, it's like somebody just hit him <laughs> in the rectum. I don't know. <laughs> I did learn one weird thing about Peter just this you weekend You got that on well. tape? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this is good. <laughs> we get to the airport. It's, this is that he's so paranoid now. We get to the airport, <laughs> <laughs> and the security, the security oh, yeah. goes, "Oh, special needs." <laughs> so he was looking at Gary. So people goes, "I don't need anything special." <laughs> Oh, you're killing me. So he, he thinks everything's a joke now. So he's like, I don't need anything special. I go, no, beat. That means we get to pass the line, you know? So we we pass the line. We're going through the metal detector. And the yeah. lady goes, take off your shoes, please. He goes, take off my shoes. You take off your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so oh this morning, so, so then, then we get to the gate. We get to the gate. And the woman's like, Sal goes, we're special needs. And. She goes, oh, do you need a wheelchair? Beetle, Beetle looks at her. He goes, I don't need no effing wheelchair. <laughs> he goes, wheelchair? I don't need no wheelchair. I'm like, no, no. He's like, 
<laughs> so whatever is said to him, he's he's convinced. It's, it's a, a go. Uh, the only thing bad about the story is that we can't shoot in an airport. It's so yeah, much we funny shit. Stuff. Any of this no. The airport was the best. This was so uh. funny. <laughs> so what about when he's a security guard? guard. Security guard shakes his hands like, Pete, how are you, big fans? Like, hey, man, how are you? How's everything going? He's like, good. He goes, uh, so where you going? And Pete goes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> where you coming from? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. I'm special um, needs. Yeah, yeah, special needs. <laughs> but, by the way, Pete was uh, was really um, angry at the appearance at the sit and sleep. Oh, yeah. He, like, wouldn't talk to anybody. Why? He was just in one of those moods. So people yeah. were like... You want to take a picture? Can I take a picture with you? Goes, I don't care what the f you do. But it was like it's almost like he was like a like a wooden Indian. Yeah. People would just go like so I would go just take a picture quick, just do it, just, you know, don't even ask. <laughs> but I learned one weird thing about Beetlejuice. We can stop pointing start right off the bat. Beetlejuice has tears that come out. You know, he tears a lot. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. They just come out for no good reason. For no good reason, he's got a lot to <laughs> cry no, about. No, no. And then they dry, they dry on his face. Yeah. In a weird way. And it was like halfway through the day, it looks like war paint. It's all over his face. And dry. It's like bat, white bat wings under his face. It's very odd. Uh, uh, sounds like he had a good weekend. Yeah, it wasn't uh, bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't as two bad more as quick you things? thought it yeah. would be. There, first of all, Sal's like the, a really horny guy. Happily married, but horny guy. Oh. So there was these two girls backstage that were just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. And um, they were, you know, it looks like they were very friendly. So Sal got them to make out. It was one of the most incredible make out. Did you get that kids. on tape? Yes. Oh, my we gotta God. we got to run that it on the show. It was unbelievable. It wasn't making out. It was tongue sucking. It was unreal. I mean, they couldn't. And sound. they were hot. Oh. Unbelievable. He Sal just is. You know, he's he can't do anything wrong because he's married. So he's just going to engineer everything he can that isn't cheating. Yeah. So you see these two girls making out, and you hear in the background like, oh, whoa. oh, he's making <laughs> noise. Like, oh, he's pushing heads together. Yeah, I was whoa. watching the whole thing. Whoa. They love it. These girls. And nobody got it on with these chicks. No, Not nobody seen them. Huh? Do we know about? Everyone's married. Oh, and then you got to see Beetle dance, Howard. You, oh, yeah. Yeah, can he dance? He looks like yeah, one of those voodoo, Beetle got it on, but the voodoo witch doctors when he dances. His head bobbles and he shakes his hands like yeah. a, like like he's a marionette. Right. And he's dancing with all these girls at the after party. So I get behind him. I try to like grind with Beetlejuice, and he <laughs> pushes me. And there's a stool behind me, and I I do a backflip. I fall right all over myself. It was awful. Did that on tape? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, I gotta good. see the Beetle dance. Absolutely. Yeah, not funny. I'm watching uh, Beetlejuice dance right in front of NBA Hall of Famer James Worthy. Oh, oh get wow. out of here! Yeah. What was he doing there? He was hanging out at the after party. You were grinding into his diaper? Yeah. <laughs> Joey's got a few toys there. I tried oh. tickling him. Oh, that's stuff. a whole other thing. Bob Levy did a routine. Um, he went after, he attacked Joey Buttafuoco. Joey Buttafuoco's brother looks like he, he has a wet Brillo pad on his head. That's <laughs> it's, it's It's the crazy, you, I can't even explain it in words. What so it sounds like you guys had a lot of yeah, fun. Was, what if you had some girl there? He was trying to get the girl to make out with Beatles. It was a whole scene. Right. Wow. Well. So, so when just, you go back on the plane, did anybody try to get Beetle back into a diaper? Or no, 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 that's it. We're going home. We're in the clear. I gotta say, <laughs> you know, for my money, what stand up from before. I don't mean this as a cutting at you guys, but you guys don't really seem to care that much about no, we it. We do. We keep you it know, on. I, I, I was more worried <laughs> at times. Yeah, but, well, but, that's the problem. You know, if you worry like you do or I do, we couldn't be with Beetle just right. for the weekend. They can because we they worry. don't worry. Howard, Sunday morning we get yeah. up, we say Beetle, we're gonna meet you at ten o'clock at your door. Me right. and Bob Levy. Perfect example. We go to the door. And Beetlejuice is gone. His door is open, <laughs> and he's not there. Oh, yeah. right. So we get downstairs, <laughs> and there's Beetlejuice with two security guards. Um. And Bob says, what are you doing? He goes, I told you to meet me at 10 o'clock. And Beetle goes, I've been looking for you since 12 o'clock. <laughs> He goes, well, you can't give the guy time. Yeah, what is 10 so, o'clock to Beatles? I don't know. The, the funniest you say part to him, this, stay in your room till we come and get you. The funniest part of this, we, we try to, I, I said, Beetle, what happened? You were lost for two hours. What happened? And he goes, this, secu- this guy, he points to the security guard. He goes, this guy's got me running around all over the place for two hours. Yeah. He, and so, like, did it you occurred say to us that, that he I'm, never said. He never said. Bob all right, I'm, or Sal. Sal. I'm burnt out. I got yeah. Yeah. I'm done now. It's, it's so enough funny. Enough Beetlejuice. I can't oh, handle it. It's visually. Uh, all right, listen, when we come back, we're going to change a homeless guy's life. Oh. We're going to give him a chance to win $25,000. We're not going to change his life. We're just going to give him some money. Well, that'll change his life. As long as we don't not change his long. life. Not for long. For a day. <laughs> I'll change his life. Not a good week, a homeless guy for 25 g We're going to play the high-low game with a homeless man. All right. And, uh, hey, by the way, who who found the chick to turn the car? I cards? found her. Whoa. She's hot. Aspen. Her name's Aspen. Aspen. Yeah, she's hey. real hot. Hey, what is she, a stripper? She, uh, I think she's a model. I don't think she yeah, does she, uh, she's topless, w- but maybe that could change. She's way past the, the stripper yeah, category. she's pretty hot. I think she's got a nice little thong on, too. Come on, oh. Yeah. Hey, do you remember what happened the last time we gave a homeless guy $10,000? He, he he got a hotel room in Times Square for four days, 
bought a set of drums, a mink coat, and spent, he spent all the money in less than four right. days. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he wasted the money. And that's what I expect to happen here. We've done it enough that I know. Yeah, it we, never changes a lot. Well, it changes it for three days. Well, with any luck, he'll lose. <laughs> all right, we'll be back right after these words with the high-low game. <laughs> 